powerful minister forced to resign for revealing Buhari's real identity secretly. Look at Cabal's. Look at Cabal's. Hey! My listeners, well, the information reached us here in the studio that President Mopari gave order for some ministers to resign. Of which this very minister who happened to be one of the powerful ministers in President Mopari's cabinet is also involved. The minister who spoke actually said that I was forced to resign because I know the truth of who the president is. <laughs> uh, you'll be surprised that when we will know the truth, Mr. President is already on his way out of office. All right, let's quickly check the content, my dear listeners. This is Evening News. News Online has reported earlier that President Mohamed Buhari on Wednesday, May 11, 2022, issued a directive for all political appointees under his administration to resign from office. This affected one of the most powerful ministers who is very close to Mr. President and knows all that is happening in his office. It was reported that this minister is the one handling all files, documents, and issues coming to Mr. President in his absence and in his presence. The online news platform understands that several Buhari's ministers and aides to the president include Anthony, General Abubakar Molami, and Rotimi Amechi are currently seeking political offices in the upcoming general election. News Online Nigeria reports that President Mohamed Buhari issued the presidential order despite a court of appeal ruling that allowed appointees to remain in office until 30 days before the general election, which are scheduled to be held in February 2023. While the Fed meeting lasted, Buari had singled out Mwa Juba for braving the odds to quit to avoid conflicts of interest and said, I expect other members of this council seeking to be president to resign with immediate effect. A few hours after Buari's presidential order, one of his ministers, Emeka Mwa Juba, the Minister of State, for education as standard is resignation. The resignation of the Buhari minister news one land made Buhari excited as he also singled the minister out for braving the odds to quit. Other ministers expected to follow suit include Minister of Transportation Rotimi Amechi, Nanja Delta Godswell Akbabu, Labor and Employment, Chris Ngege, Science, Technology and Innovation, Obun Naya, who have all joined the presidential race on the platform of the All Progressive Congress, APC. Anthony General and Minister of Justice, Abuka Malami, who is seeking to contest governorship position in Kebi State. Minister of State, Mines and Steel, Uche Oga, who is running for governorship position in Abia State and the Minister of Women Affairs, Pauline Talen, who declared her ambition to contest for senatorial seat in Plateau State. Northern Nigerians are among the ministers seeking elected positions. Hmm. Uh, my listeners, well, it's a good one anyway. It's better you save your head earlier. It's better you save your head earlier than allow your head to fall inside the ditch. It's better you save your head than allow your head to fall in. You see this minister that have tendered his resignation humbly. 
this minister have saved his head from the big from the big uh, from the big um, confusion that is about to before Bari and his administration. It's a question of few months from now. You've had it by February. We'll be having the uh, we'll be having the the, the the another election. See what was done to or, uh, or, uh, the governor of uh, the former governor of Anambra State, Obiano. Four minutes after he, he handed over, he was grabbed for arrest. He was arrested. They were they were targeting him. He never knew that the people standing with him, the people standing with him are people sent to arrest him for you to know how dangerous Nigerian politics are. He thought that they, they are his securities sent to secure him as he and over. Unknown to him that these are the people sent to arrest him the moment he hands over. They arrested him four, four, four minutes after handing over. <laughs> that is what is going to happen to Mr. President. So, um, my own advice and candid advice to these persons that, uh, that need to resign is for them to better do so now before it's, or it, 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 it gets closer. This very man is wise enough because he knows what the ministers Commissioners and what have you that are attached to these very administrations are going to face. This is the reason why Femi Falano turned down Boris' offer when he gave him a minister in his office. Do you understand? So don't be shocked at what is going to happen because it's going to befall a lot of them. They will cry, but they will not see 